We're also watching the latest numbers on the economy, and they do not bode all that well for consumers. Yeah, that includes the latest inflation rate. News 3 Steve Wolford is at the live desk right now with a closer look at what it means to you and your family. Well, uh, two key numbers jump out tonight from the Bureau of Labor Statistics that have a direct impact on your family. Consumer prices and wages. Consumer prices rose 3.5% compared to March of last year, but your wages aren't keeping pace. Only up by 1.1% through the first three months of this year. Higher inflation means you're paying more for food, gas, and utilities. Don't have to tell you that. So to cool inflation down, the Fed just decided not to lower interest rates for now. That means the interest rates on your credit cards are not coming down and potential home buyers will be paying more for a mortgage. Personally, I found a good way to get a feel for what's happening with the local economy is to visit a pawn shop. Are people buying or selling? What are they bringing in? So I stopped in to see my friends at uh, Gold and Silver Pond, home of the world famous Pond Stars, to get a non-scientific take on what's happening. Two trends, more people are selling stuff outright and not taking loans, and more people are buying gold and silver. So what does that tell us? So what that's, what that's telling me are people are starting to get uncomfortable with the environment out there. And so they're, they're looking to do some hedging themselves by at least owning some gold and silver. So yeah, I would say the amount of transactions have gone up by about 25 to 30% because of the fact that you know, the price of, of fuel and everything else that has gone up, now we're starting to see people actually go through their drawers and you know, we're seeing jewelry that they've never worn and they're never gonna wear, or they just, you know, they need to pay their bills. And if you're pessimistic about the direction of the economy right now, you're not alone. Bloomberg is reporting tonight that the Consumer Confidence Index fell in April to its lowest point in almost two years, and it also marked the third consecutive month of decline. Mm. That's it from the live desk. LaToya, Marie, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Steve.